Hi guys, so today I'm doing another kind of sciency experiment. Um, I have this potato clock. Um, I got this on Amazon and now that it's come and I've unpackaged it, I'm very skeptical. Okay, it has this little um, watch and there's no batteries or anything. The potato here actually acts as the battery. Um, so each potato um, serves as your uh, electrochemical cell and uh, the, the potatoes convert the chemical energy stored in the metal strips here um, into electrical energy. So, I'm very skeptical, you guys. I don't think that this is gonna work. But we'll see, we'll try it. I'm also not sure, here on the picture, they have russet potatoes and they're pretty big. I don't have russet potatoes. I only have these uh, yellow potatoes. They're kind of smaller. Not sure if that's gonna matter, but I guess we'll find out. Uh, so let's try it. Um, so I have my two potatoes here. I have my clock that I'm gonna try and power. Um, we have four metal rods. Um, so they serve as negative and positives, just like a battery has a negative side and a positive side. It's gonna be the same with these. Um, we have zinc, oh, and copper. So these are copper ones, these are zinc ones. So I wanna have one of each, so it's like negative and positive. All right. So the first thing I need to do is I need to uh, attach two of my rods. So I'm gonna do that first uh, to this white wire here. So I'm just going to put it through. Let's do one at a time. Like this. I'm gonna do the other one. So like I said, I got this on Amazon. It was very inexpensive, I think $15. And it is on Amazon Prime, so you can get it quickly if you wanna try this yourself. Also in the picture on the back, they have some other kind of uh, fruits, tomato, apple, lemons. So maybe you can also do it with those. I don't know, but I do have some lemons if uh, these potatoes don't work. I don't know about this, very skeptical. Okay, so I've attached um, the copper and the zinc rods with this white one. Um, and then I need to attach these to my stopwatch. And like I said, there's no battery here. These are supposed to be the batteries, so we'll see. All right. So I know I need to attach the red to the copper. The way you can remember this is that copper is, has a red hue to it. So let's attach the copper. Yeah, my hypothesis is that this is not gonna work. But maybe I will be proven wrong. trying to attach this well. It also came with tape uh, to cover the wire. I don't think I'm gonna do that. I think I'm just gonna leave it like this. I don't think I need that, right? Let's see. All right, so now I'm gonna take the potato. And I'm going to attach one rod. Here. All right. And then the other one into the other potato. Why do you need two potatoes? Because one is not going to produce enough um, electricity. So you need two. I'm going to do this. And remember, um, each potato needs to have a positive and a negative. So if you put the copper one on one potato, put the copper one on the other one. <gasps> Guys, it went on! It works! 
I'm shocked. I'm shocked. I can't believe that it worked. Okay, so now I need to time it. Okay. Oh my gosh, it's totally working. I cannot believe that. This is wild. I'm trying to set the time. Okay, do that one and then this side. And I don't know, I'm just like pressing buttons here. I'm not really sure exactly how this works. I don't know, but it's working. This is crazy. I'm shocked. I did not think it was gonna work. And what's cool too is that this kit comes with these two little cups. And um, it says that you can fill this with soda and it'll do the same thing. It'll, it'll um, act as a electrochemical cell. So cool. Um, I don't have any soda in my house, but if you guys have soda and you get this kit, try it and let me know what happens. Let me know if it works. Um, after this, I might try uh, maybe lemons or also there's a picture of an apple. I have apples in my fridge. Maybe I'll try an apple, but this is really cool. I'm shocked that it worked. Like, wow. So yeah, try it. Let me know if it works out for you guys too. Bye.